Well, the Christmas season is winding down, and at the Vatican, one of the last major events, the Solemnity of the Epiphany, takes place tomorrow with a Mass presided over by Pope Francis. EWTN Vatican News correspondent Colin Flynn has more on the historical and religious meaning of the feast. The Solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord while many associate it with the end of the liturgical season of Christmas, the feast day is traditionally associated among Western Christians with the visit of the Magi, the three wise men, and among Eastern Christians with Christ's baptism in the Jordan River. The word epiphany is from the ancient Greek, meaning manifestation or appearance. If at the center of Christmas Day is the birth of the child, in Epiphany it is emphasized that the child is the Messiah, the Son of God and Savior of the world. Epiphany also marks the Day of the Magi, the Three Wise Men. It is Matthew's Gospel that narrates the episode of this visit to the infant Jesus, with the Magi arriving in Jerusalem and asking, Where is he who was born King of the Jews? For we saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. The significance of this visit is deeply theological. The three wise men symbolize foreigners and pagans, recognizing the coming of the true God. Each of the three visitors brings a different gift with a specific meaning. With gold, they acknowledge Jesus' kingship, with frankincense, his divinity, and with myrrh, his humanity. Last year, at the Mass of the Solemnity of the Epiphany, Pope Francis emphasized the importance of the visit by the three wise men, explaining how, from the experience of the Magi, we learn that the first place where Jesus loves to be sought is in the relentless questioning. The exciting adventure of these three wise men from the East teaches us that faith is not born of our own merits, thought and theories. Rather, it is God's gift. Following the tradition, tomorrow, January 6, the Holy Father will preside over Holy Mass for the feast in St. Peter's Basilica. Cari fratelli e sorelle, buongiorno e buona festa. After that, at noon, Pope Francis will also lead a special Angelus for this solemnity. In Rome, Colum Flynn, EWTN News Nightly.